This is a children's book about complaining, written by Joy Barry. Help me be good. This book is about Amy and her friend, Tammy. Reading about Amy and Tammy can help you understand and deal with complaining. I'm glad you're spending the night. Your bedroom is awfully small. <laughs> Look, she has a pet turtle. You are complaining when you are not pleased with something and say so. Complaining is saying that something is wrong. It is finding fault with something. Ugh, I hate this food. Is this all there is to eat? Oh, and she shoves the plate away. She, her friend goes, huh? When you are with someone who keeps complaining, how do you feel? What do you think? What do you do? Are these all the toys you have? I'm not having much fun. She's thinking to herself, she sure complains a lot. When you are with someone who complains, you might feel unhappy and disappointed. You might think it is not fun to spend time with the person. You might decide you do not want to be around the person. I'm sure glad Amy is gone. I'll never invite her to my house again. Her little turtle says, Is it safe to come out? It is important to treat others the way you want to be treated. If you do not want the people you are with to complain, you must not complain. Why don't you invite Amy over to play? Amy complains so much, it's not fun to be around her. Yeah, said the turtle. Too much complaining can make you feel bad. It can cause you to think about bad things around you instead of the good things. There's nothing to do around this house. There's nothing on TV. We don't have any good games. And... Thinking about bad things around you can put you into a bad mood. Why are you in such a bad mood? Look at, want to play cat and mouse? When you are in a bad mood, you will probably have a bad day. You might say or do things that hurt you or the people and things around you. Living here is boring. I wish I lived somewhere else. Oh. Complaining can be harmful to you and others. This does not mean you should keep quiet when something is really wrong. Sometimes you need to complain. Stop! You have no right to break my toys. Ooh, looks like her brother's breaking her little robot. Think before you complain. Complain only if it will help change something that needs to be changed. Accept things as they are if they cannot be changed. Do not continue to complain. I'm telling Dad. He will make sure you don't get into my things again. And the turtle goes, and stay out of my stuff, too. When you need to complain, do it in a nice way. Try not to shout. Try not to throw a tantrum. TJ got into my things again. Look what he did. Turtle goes, good thing my shell isn't fragile. When you must complain... Try to suggest ways to solve the problem. Could we put a lock on my bedroom door so TJ can't get into my room? Once 
you are sure you, your complaint is understood, stop complaining. Listen to what others have to say. If they suggest a good solution to the problem, follow it. I don't think a lock is necessary. If you make sure your things are put away in your room, I'll make sure TJ doesn't go into it. Turbos. I'm glad I have a private room. Okay. Remember to think about the good things around you. Talk about them. Do not complain unless you need to. Sometimes you bug me, but most of the time you're a pretty neat kid. Turtle goes bugs. Did someone mention bugs? It is important to treat people the way you want to be treated. If you do not want others to complain around you, you must not complain around them. Good move, Tammy. Now look, everybody's smiling. Well, I hope this helped you understand about complaining. The end.